Hello everyone, Jack here for Gozo's World and welcome to the another summon of the Lockdown Pickups Edition for February. First of all, I just want to let you all guys know that um, if you enjoy the January's Pick Up Lockdown video, I will put that link in the description of the card right now, so please go check it out. I tested some games out like Rich Racer 6, Devil May Cry 4, Hasty Collection, Soul Calibur 4, R Revolution, R Racing, and of course the Formula 1 2001. I tested it out and it all worked great for that one there. No, no glitches, no error, just readable, it's all perfect cleaned. So I'm really thrilled with that. And of course the three brand new games that one here, it all worked out great. So now for today's video, I got here 14 games, very good deals that one here. So I got one PlayStation 2, 6 Xbox 360s, 6 PlayStation 3, I have one accessory for the PS3 for one here, and one PlayStation 1, the very rarest game for one here, on a greatly deal for one here. And I'll explain it all once I get into the last remaining two of them. So first one, let's start it off with the PlayStation games for us. So starting with the PlayStation 2, I got this for the game for £1 from Retro World Amazon seller. Not Retro World Derby, but the seller itself. And ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Formula 1 2003, that one there. I never played this game before. This is the first ever for me. I seen the videos and it all worked amazingly well. So, and you can see at the back for one here. So this is the doing a 2003 Formula One season, and I think you know which I'm gonna be joined playing for it. It's of course the Jordans. So anyway, let's uh, check it out so you can see what we got. Okay, so here we have here a manual that one here, and even a disc. I love the disc that one they're designing for, and that good old checking flag. It's like the same very style of the uh, Ridge Racer, the very first Ridge Racer so on the PlayStation 1. So anyway, let's check the disc out. Very nicely clean for one there, very nicely. Look at that, good, no problems, so that's good for me. So that's the only PS1 I ever got for that one here, but hopefully I'll try to get more coming soon for one here. Hopefully the next video, say, it may, of course, it may take me time, but hopefully you'll see, uh, maybe do a month, maybe May's lockdown edition, so I'll try my best for one here. Now that's a one PS2 title, now it's moving on to the Xbox 360 ones. So the first one, of course, the this doing the adventures one. So I've got three adventure games, two racings, and one fight, fighting beat up. So the first one started off with the adventures. So this game I played a lot of when I played it once on the PS3 port, and I was very like, in love with it. And I'm thinking, you know, hopefully, say, what kind of game is it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got this. Final Fantasy XIII on the Xbox 360. I got this for £5. Got it from Chill Out Games, that one, that company. So, for the retailer. And all you can see here, for the characters you're going to meet, there's Lightning, of course, the main character for her. So this one here, I love the story for one here. Of course, it's just amazing. So anyway, let's check this out. So we have here, so we got a manual, and as you can see, there says disc one. So I think that means that's how many discs we're going to put into. So we got one, there's two. Okay, so there are three, contain three discs inside. Okay. So hopefully may not these ones maybe not get an updated one says, you know, like Frozen Motorsport and all kind of games. But I think it may be continue, like say, if it's like say disc one contains all the episodes, or it might be do some parts, so that's why I think it's a little bit decision is to do because Xbox 360s don't have Blu-ray supports, but PS3 does on Final Fantasy 13 for one there. But anyway, I, I don't mind whatsoever, so I cannot wait to get started. So let's check the disc out. So 
the disc here, very nicely cleaned from one there, so that's really cool. So anyway, I cannot wait to get started playing for Final Fantasy XIII. Of course, later, there are two more. There are Final Fantasy XIII 2 and Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. Hopefully, I will get those games coming a little bit soon for one there. So please stay in mind. So hopefully, if I could get a good deal for one there. Anyway, let's move on to the next uh, Xbox game. Now, this one here, I love it so much for one there. I love horror games, as you know, like Saw. Resident Evil, Resistance, something there, those kind of stuff, something there. I played this game two times, that one here, and I fell in love with it, and I've managed to got a great deal, that one there. I got it for just two pounds, just two pounds, got it from We Buy Books, that one here, Amazon seller, for this. Resident Evil Gold Edition, that one there. Yes, I love the Gold Edition so much. So it contains, you know, all the packs and downloadable packs such as There's Lost Nightmares, There's Desperate Escape, Versus Marcus Reunion, Extra Figures, and Cotton Packs 1 and 2. So, yeah. So, my this one here, I'm going to give you a hit to give you guys to know. If you're about to place, or if you're, if you're going to purchase Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, whether it's an Xbox uh, 360 or PS3 or PS4 or Xbox One, my strong advice, play this one called Lost in Nightmares. That is Jill and Chris that went out to be as a duo, faces Albert Wesker. Play that first. Then the second one here, of course, they played the actual main game for one for PS4. One in Resident Evil 5, where Chris Asherba faces Albert Wesker, front one here. And then once you're done with that, easy, do an easy mode, then you're going to the Desperate Escape. That is where Jill Valentine, front one here, to do a little bit of missions, to escape with, get the helicopter, to let warn Chris Asherba know what's Wesker's weaknesses and all sorts. And then once you're done with that, then you go back to the main ones, just with a new game, do it, play it on all difficulty levels to crushing hard mode for one there. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little info so that's a little bit say that is a little bit easy story for it. But anyway let's check it out just so we can see yeah here the information booklet and the disc. So but first I want to make sure okay so there it there it is a code for one from game add-on content for Resident Evil 5 but um, hopefully if that does work on the Xbox 360, then I'll be real pleased with it. I'm just going to be real pleased with that. So anyway, let's check the disc and look at that. Nicely clean, no scratches, nothing. So that is absolutely fantastic, well kept it. And I'm surprisingly good offer for two quid worth. That's I'm really thrilled with that one. Okay, next up we're getting to a final adventures one. Now, as you know, you know I love. Heavy metal rock, just like, like Metallica, that one here, um, Tenacious D, that one here, Motley Crue, I listened to it on track, Dragon Force, and all kinds of bands. It's not Guitar Hero, that one there, guys, but it's this. Brutal Legend from Jack Black himself, that one there. I'm just, I love this, I played this game once, and it's so awesome, that one there. And so you can see the back of it, and it's just so damn cool. I mean, you get the legends such as the late great Lemmy, Ozzy Osbourne, Rob Holland from Judas Priest. All those great bands members are in there to be as a voice to be in this game, Brutal Legend. So I got this for four pounds from Music Magpie if I went there. So I'm really thrilled with that. Let's check and look and see inside. So we have a manual inside and a disc. So let's have a check and look and see if it's good. Oh yes it does. Look at that. Another good clean through. Very, very nicely for one there. So anyway, cannot wait to play this on the Xbox port and hopefully I'm trying to get some more, get more content, get more rock music to unlockable. So, but anyway, I'm just really super thrilled with this one. Okay, now we're moving on to the racing ones. So one game for the racing one. Got it from We Buy Books. And I got it for a whopping three pounds for this. 
Froza Motorsport 4. Yes, I finally got the last one of the Xbox 360 Froza Motorsport series. And as you can see here, there's a cover the back. And you can see there, there's the old stick from Top Gear. I love Top Gear so much on it. With Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May. They are my favorite Top Gear presenters, that one here. But it's a shame they were gone. But I love I love watching Top Gear in Dave Channel in the UK. And it's just so amazingly funny. But anyway, but you can see here, it got parties with uh, Top Gear right on the bottom. See here? That's really cool. So let's check and see inside. So we have here. Okay, so I can see there's disc one here inside. And I think it you know, means... There's two discs, so the second disc here contains yeah, the actual install documents from when it content content install disc for like an update. So of course the manual. So let's check to see what uh, the disc condition is. Yeah, looks like it's very nicely. We've got a little bit too one or two smudges in person, but looks like I'm gonna get a nicely DP cleaned. But I cannot wait to get play it on this one here. Yeah. And play on courtesy of Top Gear for one here. Yeah. So I just can't wait to play the good old track for it. Okay, now we get to the next racing one here. Now I got this from Music Magpie. And this racing game, you know, is from, like, from... If you've seen um, Need for Speed um, Carbons Collector's Edition on one of the videos I picked up with. I enjoyed it so much, that one here. But now... I got finally got it. The new I got the next gen someone there for Need for Speed Carmen for Xbox 360 for eleven pounds. Yep, it is expensive than CX because CX is about eight quid's worth. But I said you one maybe before guys. These all of them are very good conditions, excellent service, no glitch, no bugs, someone here, no problems. So that's why I want to get a nicely good condition reading for it there. So you can see the back of the, uh, the cover, so you can see the battle for the city is won in the canyon. So good old motto of that one here. So anyway, let's check it out. Okay, so we have here the manual and the disc itself. Gonna check it out. And goodly look! Goodly clean for that one there, nicely. So, so anyway, I'm really thrilled to get Need for Speed Carbon, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm hoping going to get the PS3 version a little bit soon for that one here. Yeah? So please stay tuned for that one here yeah, for, for the upcoming uh, pickups video, so please check it and stay, stay, stay with us. Now we get down to the very last one here yeah, for the Xbox 360, and it's a good old beat up. Now, in the, in the January pickups, I did pick up the good old Injustice God Among Us Ultimate Edition, brand new. And I said to you guys that I'm hoping to get, if fingers crossed, if I get uh, the Xbox 360 ports. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do have it now. I got this from the same one, Music Mad Pie, for 14 quid for one there. 14 pounds, very good style. But anyway... I'm just really cannot wait to get started playing on the Xbox 360 version, so I hope I can get some practice into it. So yep, yeah, contains, you know, like I said before, new 30 skins, 6 additional characters, 60 new Star Lab missions, all in the disc for one here. So let's check it out. Okay, so there's no manual inside, but at least you've got the disc here, just make sure. Ooh! Now that's also very nicely good condition, Lee. That's very, very nicely. But anyway, I am really, really thrilled to get Injustice. Now I have, now I've got the, the latest genses for Xbox 360, PS3 for one here. I've got a PS4 one, but now I'm hoping to find if there's an Xbox One for Injustice God Among Us on the Xbox One, then I will hopefully try to get that one here. But top it all off, I'm happy with the Xbox 360 titles anyway, so anyway, I'm really through with it. Okay, so that is the end of the Xbox 360. Now we're going to move it on to the PlayStation 3 games. So starting up with this one here. I love this series so much. Well, one of the games, but now 
I finally got a game back and two new friends are going to be joining on with me. And here they are. Resident's complete series that one there. So I have Resident's Fall of Man, Resident's 2 and Resident's 3. So for the price that one there, such as for Resident's Fall of Man, got it for Music Magpie for £3. Resident's 2, got it from from Chill Out Games for also for £3. And Resident's Fall, Resident's 3, got this for Music Magpie again for £5. So all together, I got it for eleven pounds altogether for it. So first one, let's get started with the first one, the beginning with. Resident's Fall of Man. One of the PS3 launches titles, that one here, when the PS3 released it in November 2006, that one here. So this game here, you know, I've been played through it, I watched for it, but as you can see there's a screenshot, that one here, of the chimera, so you're going to be facing bosses against. So, I've seen this one multiple times, I can't hold it any longer. i never played Resistance Fall of Man before, and now finally I have a copy. So this is taking place, they're going to be in England in 1951. I mean, you get different countries, so in England you've got like, uh, like York, Manchester, Liverpool, London, Manchester, and even, of course, Nottingham, right here in Nottingham, and that's quite so pleased with it. But very historic, and I'm really thrilled about this for man, it's got into it. So anyway, let's check the disc and inside. So, okay, we've got the manual. And let's see if check the disc. Whoa! Very nicely. Look at that. Goodly clean for that one here. So that is so cool for that one here. Okay, next one, get into it, is Resistance 2. One of my absolute favourites. And this is why, it's one the reason why it's my favourite. It's simple. In Christmas 2008, for one here, I had my first PlayStation 3, a big fat model with 80 gigabytes. I got games such as Ratchet Clank Tools of Destruction that I, had, I got. Little Big Planet, the very first Little Big Planet. FIFA 09 and Resistance 2 for one there. So I played it and I thought it says, whoa, that's kind of scary. But the gameplay is just so damn cool for that one there. And it's my first ever player on a PS3 port one there. So there's a screenshot at the back, and as you know, I'm just love it so damn much for that one there. So anyway, so there's a manual and a disc. Let's make sure if it's good conditionally. Yeah, there we go, conditionally again for that one there. So that's really cool. Okay, then we get down to the very very last one for that one there, and that is Resistance Free for that one here. The last one, I have never played this one before. I say it's quite, it might be a bad game for one here, but I'm just gonna play the story mode for one here, see it in person for it. So here we are. So let's just check it open and see how it goes. Okay, we've got the manual and the disc for one here, so let's go start. Let's check the disc to see if it's in good condition, Lee. It does. It does have a good condition lay, so that is so cool for one here. But even though I'm really happy to get all three in one place, that one I'm really thrilled with that one. But it's first one of course, you know, the downside is um Insomniac Games has been discontinued uh, online features because I love playing online games that one there. It's a real shame. But I'm hoping fingers crossed if Insomnia Games Maybe bring Residents back for one there as a remake, maybe for the PS5. If it does, then it'll be sweet for everyone to play for it. But anyway, I'm happy with those three here. Let's get into the next one. So, in the January pickups, I said before, I'm gonna hope we want to get. I got Devil May Cry 4, and the question is, did I get the PS3 version? Yes, I did. For one there. Going for three pounds, got it from uh, from Music Magpie for just four pounds, four quid's worth. That one there, same price like the Xbox 360. There we have the same cover. That one there, like before. Let's check that. Check this this one here. Of course, the boss series there again, not like the Xbox. 
And the disc here is well out on it, very up and close in person. Just check the disc out and very nicely cleaned. As you can see, there's a little smudges right on the little top of it, but I hope I'll get a nice decent clean for on here. But top it all off, I'm really happy with DMC4. Now I have the both versions for Xbox 360 and the PS3. Now the question is, what about the PS4? I'm hoping I'm not going to get one from digital to buy it on PlayStation Store. I'm more rather prefer it's getting it on the physical disc version. So there's one like in Japan for one here, it's called a like Best Price that one here, company makings of it. And they just contain English language, English subtitles, but it'll be Japanese, um, you know, Japanese language of the trophies, you know. But hopefully I will get start play for it. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it may take me some, you know, the delivery may take about, I'm not sure, about a week because they are from Japan. But hopefully, it could be looking at it's a brand new one. So, it'll be a brand new one. So, hopefully, cannot wait to get for it. And hopefully, do it in the future endeavors for the pickup. So, please stay tuned with that one. So, now we're going to move it on to the next one. And this one here, I think you're quite surprised what I just got from it. Yep, I do have another Final Fantasy 13. Yep, this one here, I didn't get the Platinum run, so I only play it only once. I never got the Platinum for it, but now, finally I got the physical game. Now I can finally get into it. I'm first going to do a start from scratch. Hopefully we'll get some all the achievements I need to complete for on it. So anyway, I got this for, uh, for Monarchs.co.uk, uh, Amazon retailer, for... Five pounds, I think. No, actually, it's three pounds for one there. Sorry for one there. A little bit of confusion. But anyway, so there you are. The, the, the game itself for one there, more differently. Now, I said to you before that um, Xbox 360 don't have like Blu ray supports, but PS3 does that one there. So that's why it's only containing one disc. So let's check it out and see. So there's no manual for one here, so that's fine. Okay, so as you can see here, it's still nicely, very well conditionedly. No scratches, so that's good news for one here. So, I do got the Platinum run on Final Fantasy XIII 2 and Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII on the PS3. But if you want to see one of me to get that one here, I'll try to do that for one here. But even though I already got the Platinum, but I might be doing live streaming on Twitch in the future. So anyway, so please stay tuned with that. Okay, then now we're getting down to the very last PS3 game title, and I say the good best for last. I can't hold it any longer, and so I have managed to complete the entire set for the PS3 set, and it's this game. Ratchet and Clank Q-Force. Yep, the last one of the PS3 is now finally here. Now I have completed everything for Ratchet and Clank stuff, such as... Got Ratchet Clank 1, 2, 3, Ratchet Gladiator, Size Matters for the PlayStation Portable, Tools of Destruction, Quest for Butte, A Crack in Time, All for One, Q Force, and Nexus. So that is that for on there. So that is the entire. But we know one thing here for the fact that Ratchet Clank's Rift Apart is now officially got a release date. Be coming into the 11th of June of 2021. So that is why I'm really hyped with that one. But I'm going to be waiting for if there's a limited, if you have Ratchet Clank PS5 limited edition system with Ratchet Clank game onto it. If it does, then I hope they'll do the unboxing video very, very soon. But if not, then I can wait for one there and hope we maybe get more 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 storage unit like say one or two terabytes on it then hopefully I'll get ready to get the PS5 for in it but anyway without further ado anyway let's continue on so as you can see in the back and this one here you can do is to cross play on it so you can see in the back front of it yeah so you can play places your visa on it so hopefully if it can work but I need to get a visa very very soon for on it but anyway let's check inside so we got the manual and the disc. And let's see, fingers crossed, it got a good disc. And it does! 
Very nicely indeed that one here. So, and I buy the retailer, I got it. It's from the Games Exchange retailer, Amazon seller, with it. But before that, I forgot to mention, look at this that one here. I love the kind of the um, art style at the back for an edge, guys. Clear view. Here we are. I mean, just look at that. That is so cool, that one there. So, very, very nicely kept it. So, but like I said, guys, I'm just thrilled we're getting the last Ratchet and Clank game. And now, know for a fact, there are some few things, you know, say, there's Secret Agent Clank, that one here. I'm not going to go for that one. It's not quite the same without Ratchet on it. And it's graphically a little bit more poor. So, that's why maybe not the best one to go for it. And then, of course, see, as well, what about Ratchet and Clank's collection? Well, I'm thinking, you know, I already got the Platinum run, but if you want me to get that, I'll try to do that my best I can for it. So, it may be expensively, so... But who knows, for it. But fingers crossed if I can do that. If I do, I'll do live streaming it on the PS3 as a cheer-up for it. And maybe if you want to do it on the, um, on the playthrough, then I'll try to do that for it. And lastly, but not least, what about Ratchet Clank Rift Apart? Um, sorry, um, remake of Ratchet Clank. It's a good game, but unfortunately, the story does not add make sense for it. It's not. It does not have the original storyline like the PS2 days. So that's why I more rather prefer is to play the original PlayStation 2 than the remake. So, top of all off, I'm happy with all of the PS3 gaming titles so far. So anyway, let's get moving on to the next one. Okay, now we get down to the last remaining two items. So first of all, let's start with the last of the PS3 accessory. Now, which one I have picked up? Well, I forgot here is a PS3, the old one here. I had it for since the, since I got it for Christmas 2008. It had its best moments. I mean, look, it got it still got a good grip, but I mean, you see the wounds. It's not quite not quite grip enough anymore and it had say it had its limits but it still works but it's time for something fresh so I got here a new set of PlayStation 3 controllers that one here so I got this one here it's called the CEO Zones PS3 controller combo that one there so there are two of them inside Luckily, I said they are inside. There are two controllers, one good ones and one spare ones. So, I got this for a brand new for thirty pounds. So, any further ado, let's open up this little box and see what kind of colours that it is going to be. Okay, okay, it's now up. Okay, so we got here. Oh, look at this. We got a lovely gold version of that one here, a lovely gold one. So, take it off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now I can feel it, you see? It's nicely cool that one here, nice six analyst star that one here, so that's really so cool. And then let's see inside here. And we got here, ah! <laughs> Oh, we got a black version for it. Here we are. A nicely black version. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's really nicely cool, that one here. Nicely grip. But, wow, that is so cool, that one here. So, we got the black and gold versions for it. And, of course, a little... You and even have a little charging points, that one here. So, this is so amazingly. So... There are, there are other versions that one here, like for the colours, put one here. So here, yeah, the black and gold there together. And the reason why I choose black and gold is because of these ones. As you know, I love rugby union, but more importantly, I love ice hockey. And that's why, that's why black and gold representing one thing. The home of the Nottingham Panthers. You see, one here, so you can see, gold and black. Representative that one there, so that's so really really cool that one there. So 
There are other colors ports somewhere. I'll put put down a link in the description on Facebook. They got uh, they got the black one and the silver one here, like the PS2 silver uh, system and a controller. And the other option is the silver and the blue. Very nicely dark blue, but and even costly, the famous black and gold ones. So, but anyway, I'm really super excited. Just cannot wait to charge it up for one to get ready to start playing through it. So that was that for one here. So that is the PS3 controllers. Now we get down to the very last one. The PlayStation 1, one very rarest game, it's hard to find, I've been waited long long enough, but now finally thanks to a great deal from Chill Out Games for whoppingly £30 for this fighting game. Yeah, the first bloody roar. I finally Got it, I always wanted it, now I finally have it in my collection. This is, is a nicely mentally conditioned that one here, it's so cool. So you can see there's the characters in there, the screenshots, that one here. And basically, Bloody War is celebrating 23 years since 1998. So what a long way journey has been for, for the first Bloody War that one here. So. But anyway, I'm just really excited to get this. Now, these are hard ones to find. If it's like just a box version from, from CEX, it's like about 20, a, 30 pounds. But if it's a mint condition, it's been in between like 50 to 60 quid's worth. And I see on eBay, so on these mint conditions on Amazon, they basically got to 60 to 75 pounds worth. And I'm no joke for that one here. I've just seen it in my own eyes. So... Luckily I got this for 30 pounds, what a way to bargain for it. So let's open it up very nicely. Okay, so we got here is uh, the manual. So we have the manual inside. But, oh, just look at they did. They put, they put a nice bubble wrap in there for very secure keeping safe for it. What a way to go, thank you to our games. <laughs> so let's check the disc out, so so there's the disc designing, it looks so cool that one here. So as so, so you can see, it's got a nice and good condition and there's... It does have it as well, no scratches, great condition lay, great price. I am really thrilled with that one, so... And one thing you know, I'm really thrilled getting this for Bloody Raw, but I just need is one more. I need to get the original Xbox system to get Bloody Raw Extreme. And that will be the end of Bloody Raw stuff for when I got. So, then that's it. That is my entire everything in my collection, you know, so far on this video. So how much did I pay all of it? I paid £133 worth. Yep. If Bloody Raw was, say, about 60 quid, it would be £163. But luckily, thanks to that, and even the, um, even the you know, controllers and, and the games, I'm just really thrilled. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this long uh, pickups video, so I don't know it's going to be like over 30 minutes of it. But I hope everyone's enjoyed that. And remember, drop a big like for the video. Drop down your comments below your thoughts on the pickups and you, which ones games you're really looking forward to to see the most. Click punch for the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications to see more videos coming to my channel very soon. Till then, this is Jack here. See ya!